We can thank the Arawak people for some of the things that we still use today, such as hammocks, canoes, barbecue, tobacco, and the words hurricane and Cuba. Cristobal and the Spaniards never brought any women with them on their voyages. They instead took Arawak women for common law wives, resulting in a large quantity of what they call mestizo or mixed children. The Arawaks were peaceful and kind people by nature. And Cristobal documented this in his journal. He stated they traded with us and gave us everything they had at goodwill. They are very gentle and without knowledge of what is evil, nor do they steal or murder. Yet he and his men murdered and stole from them. Cristobal and his men began to demand gold and spun cotton from the Arawaks. And when they did not deliver, he ordered their arms to be cut off and they let them bleed to death. Arawak people were not a violent people at all and Cristobal was well aware of this and took advantage of it. The Arawaks, like their African ancestors, honored nature and its spirits, which they call Zemis. They also venerate their ancestors. Arawak people built their houses out of logs and poles. Men wore loincloth and women wore aprons made of cotton or palm fiber. Both genders painted themselves on special occasions and they wore earrings and nose rings made of gold. They also made pottery, baskets, which they called makuto, and other items carved from stone and wood. The Arawak, like many Native American tribes, have similar customs and traditions to their African counterparts. From spiritual practices down to the crops that they cultivate, many Arawak people have been wiped out due to disease and genocide. However, many are still alive and have intermarried with other ethnic groups. Recent research done by scholars show that a high percentage of the people inhabiting the Caribbean, including Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, that claim Taino ancestry also have Spanish and African ancestry as well. Many Arawak people also integrated into other Native American ethnic groups, such as the Seminoles. There are many similarities amongst the different ethnic groups, spiritually, linguistically, and culturally. In 1998, the United Confederation of Taino People, which characterizes itself as an intertribal authority, was created as an umbrella organization for the restoration and affirmation of Taino culture and its language, as well as its religion. Their indigenous spiritual practices have actually been banned in many places including Jamaica, which is one of their homelands. The United Confederation of Taino People is not officially recognized by any governments, but they claim their right to self-determination. Arawak people are another ethnic group that is owed restitution from the Europeans for the colonization and the genocide of their people, as well as for the encroachment or the stealing of their land. Arawak descendants have land rights in the Americas. If you're interested in finding out if you have any Native American roots, I suggest you join my Remember Who You Are Ancestry Masterclass. And the next time you see someone celebrating Columbus Day, make sure you hit them with these facts. Columbus is no one to celebrate. Let's instead celebrate the indigenous people of this land. Let me know in the comments if you have any Arawak heritage that you're proud of. And also let me know if you learned anything new watching this video.